Once upon a time, there was a little princess, the most beautiful little princess in all the land. Kinky sex, religion, a beauty queen, Mormon missionaries, kidnap at gunpoint. There was something in that story for everyone. It was a perfect tabloid story. I should have a list somewhere of all of the tabloid stories that I've tried to do over the years. Some successfully, some unsuccessfully. They never got turned into movies for whatever reason. Whether it's a sixth sense, some kind of intuition that a story is going to lead to something amazing. This bizarre story began here last Wednesday. A young Mormon missionary was kidnapped, driven to a house, blindfolded, and his legs shackled. When I first read about it in AP Wire Service story, there's the dog cloning and sex and chains. And I thought that that combination of A and B was what made this of interest. I have six characters in the movie, and they're all quite remarkable. They're amazing. She's one of the great romantic heroines. She is extraordinarily articulate. She's a really great natural storyteller. Part of the job certainly is to capture that person that you're talking to. For better or for worse, to allow them to emerge in some complex, interesting way. I couldn't believe it. It was just like shock. It was in all the papers. Were you surprised to be put in prison? I really didn't feel I'd done anything wrong. Pretty much no that Joyce came to the UK with the intention of kidnapping Kirk Anderson. You know, you don't bring along handcuffs and a fake gun and chloroform for no reason. There was somewhere floating around in all of this the intention, perhaps, to take her love object by force. But did she do it? As a filmmaker, what I can do is I can present that mystery. I mean, do I buy Joyce's argument that a woman can't rape a man? I kind of do. Do you think a woman can rape a man? No. I think that's like putting a marshmallow in a parking meter. I don't, a, a guy either wants to have sex or he doesn't. But we may never know. We may never know for certain. Something happened, we know that. <laughs> but we may never know what it is. And so what the movie can attempt to do is is paint the picture of these mysteries, these competing narratives, these stories, the crazy imagery, the needs of the tabloid press to make the story one thing or another thing. Joyce's own hopeless, hapless quest to be reunited with Kirk. Worms crawl out of the woodwork when you become famous. They had a tip, 38, 24, 36. Your fantasy is her speciality. The press went crazy. They said I was a whore. Oh, my heck, as they say in Utah. She went barking mad. <laughs> she disappeared a day later. It's not a porno story like these crazy newspapers have tried to make. It's a love story. You know, you can tell a lie long enough till you believe it.